Hey what is going on everyone this is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys how to keep your iPhone running smoothly like a new one. Now of course with time your iPhone will get slower and the battery life won't be that good but there are a few steps that you can follow in order to make sure that your iPhone will run smoother like a brand new one. One of the most important things when it comes to your iPhone running smoothly is battery health. If your iPhone has bad battery health, then it will not run as smooth as it should. Now, if you go to your settings and go to battery and then go to battery health, right here we'll find what is called maximum capacity. It will show you basically the battery health of your device. Mine, it is at 93% right now, which means that it has peak performance capacity, so it will perform as it should. But if this decreases a lot, then Apple will basically make your iPhone run slow lower in order for the battery life to last longer so when the battery is bad then it will run slower so what you need to do here is make sure you have optimized battery charging all the time enabled now optimized battery charging will be really really good on the long run it will keep the battery healthier for a long run so that's what you need to do make sure the battery health of your iphone is always good and your iphone is at peak performance capacity now if nothing works if you have optimized battery charging enabled and still you don't have peak performance capacity then I suggest that you go ahead and change the battery of your iPhone because if battery health is really really bad then your iPhone will run really really slow so make sure you go ahead and change the battery of your iPhone very important for the performance of your iPhone is also free space. If your iPhone doesn't have any free space or it has just a bit of free space, then it will run slower. Your iPhone needs a few gigs of free space in order to run normally as it should. So you make sure you have enough free space on your iPhone, at least seven or eight gigs. Now what you can do to free up space on your iPhone is of course delete apps that maybe you don't use that often or you can find a replacement on the app store for that app that doesn't take that much space on your device now by going to the iphone storage on the general settings you will find a list of all the apps and what's taking a lot of space on your device so you can go ahead and clear them of course you can always go ahead and delete any like large videos that you have that you're not watching you don't need or any other pictures that you have that you don't need you can also go right here to the app store and itunes and from here what you need to do is go ahead and enable upload unused apps now this will free up space on your iphone by deleting apps that you're not using but it will still hold their data so if you need that app you go ahead and just enable basically install the app on your device back and you will have still all the data there then of course make sure you go ahead and go to something like like let's say podcast and make sure you have the download disabled so it doesn't download basically all the episodes on your device and you will have them locally saved that will take of course a ton of space you can do that also by going to general go to iphone storage and then you will find here podcasts and from here we'll be able to delete any episodes that you have downloaded on your device that's really really important also if you go to the camera settings you can go ahead and choose like the formats right here you can choose high efficiency formats which make, means that the photos on your iphone won't be that large on size they will still have great quality but won't take up that much space on your device and if your iphone is running slow while browsing the internet then make sure you go to settings go to safari and scroll down here and find clear history and website data now you might think on safari we'll just have the history of the websites that you have visited it. There will also be cookies like website data, cache files and all that stuff that might keep your iPhone running slow while browsing the internet. So what you need to do is regularly go ahead and go to settings, go to Safari and make sure you clear the history and data from Safari. Of course, smartphones are all about apps. You can find an app for everything that you need to do on your smartphone. But what you need to do is go ahead and always make sure you have your apps updated. Now apps get updated regularly with new updates, fixes and all that. So if an app is running slow, then an update might fix that. So make sure that you always have your apps updated to the latest version. 
I also recommend that you have your device always updated. Now this is tricky. So if you go to your general settings and go to software update, you can see here in which iOS version you're currently in. And if there's an update, you will see an update right here. So what I suggest you do is always stay on the latest iOS version if you're already on that like general version. So let's say if you're on iOS 13, make sure you're on iOS 13.6. Don't stay on iOS 13.4 because it will always be better and it should run smoother and better battery life, better performance and all that. But let's say you're on a device on an older device and you're on iOS 12, but you have the option to update to iOS 13, then you don't need to hurry. Right there, what you need to do is just go ahead, let's say go on YouTube, watch a few videos, see how that device performs under that iOS version. So before upgrading, making a jump from like, let's say iOS 12 to iOS 13 or from iOS 13 to iOS 14, you should always take a look at how that device performs on that particular iOS version. Because even though Apple works a lot on their iOS versions and lately they have been just like really running smooth and of course way better on all the devices, sometimes some devices tend to perform better on lower iOS versions. So let's say better on iOS 12 than on iOS 13. So make sure you always take a look at that before updating. But if you're already, let's say, updated from iOS 12 to iOS 13, then make sure you're on the latest version of iOS 13. There are always a lot of background services on your iPhone that you maybe not use that much, but they're there and they of course take CPU power on your device. So what you need to do is just check a few of them and make sure you have them disabled if you don't use them. For example, if you go to accessibility, you will have here a new feature called voiceover, which is on iOS 13. Make sure you disable that if you don't use it. By going to the privacy section and going to motion and fitness, you will see here all the apps that are tracking your motion and fitness. Everything that is going on on the background will take CPU power. So what you need to do is always make sure that you have all the services disabled that you don't need or don't use. Or for example, if you go to analytics and improvements, you will have here a lot of stuff that you can share, but you don't really need to do that. You can go ahead and turn these off. Of course, that will save a lot of CPU power running in the background on your iPhone. You will have a much nicer and smoother experience using your iPhone. One thing that will take a lot of battery life and also CPU power are notifications. If you have a ton of notifications enabled for all of your apps, then that will be really, really bad for your device. So make sure you go to settings, go to notifications, and just go ahead and choose which app you want to have notifications on. So you can see right here, most of them on my device are off. So if I don't need notifications from an app, so here I have a wallpaper app, I just constantly go to the app, check if there are new wallpapers, and of course download them if they are good, but I don't need to have notifications running on my device all the time from that app. So make sure you go ahead, choose any one of the apps that you don't need to have notifications for and turn them off. There are of course a few other things that you can do to make sure that your iPhone will run smoothly and that's regularly rebooting your device. So you can reboot your device by pressing volume up, volume down, and then holding the side button here until you see the Apple logo on that will do a, like a forced reboot of your device, but it should run smoother once you have done that. So make sure if you see that your device is not performing that good, that you regularly go ahead and reboot your device. Another thing that you can do is go to settings, go to general, and then go to reset and reset the settings of your device. So at the top, you will see reset all settings. So if you're seeing that something is not really going smooth on your device, you can always reset the setting. That will of course keep everything on your iPhone, but will just reset the setting to, the, to its factory default. And if you see that none of these steps are working for you and your device is still not running as it should, I suggest that you go ahead and back up your device using iCloud or iTunes and then just go ahead and make a fresh restore on your device. Once you have completed the restore, then of course you can load back the files from the backup that you did before restoring your device. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. Hopefully these steps will help you keep your device running smoother, like a new one, and of course have your device for a longer time running smooth as it should because a slow device is not not that good. So that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more and I will see you guys on the next one.